The secret joins to Stonehenge. This ancient Lego brick-like feature is the surprising secret to one of the biggest mysteries of Stonehenge. Recent findings suggest that the ancient builders of this iconic structure were far more advanced than previously believed, particularly when it came to the methods they used to connect the massive stone slabs. The solution, which has recently been compared to the interlocking mechanisms of Lego bricks, consists of small bumps on some stones and corresponding impressions on others. Known as a mortise and tenon joint, this mechanism is a simple yet effective method of joining two pieces of material together. It consists of a protruding tenon carved on one piece and a corresponding mortise or cavity on the other. The two pieces lock together when the tenon is inserted into the mortise, creating a strong and stable connection. In Stonehenge, the builders use this technique to join the upright stones, or sarsens, to the horizontal lintel stones that span across them. The use of mortise and tenon joints in the construction of Stonehenge required astonishing precision and skill. The builders had to carefully measure and carve each joint to ensure a perfect fit, a task made all the more challenging by the immense size and weight of the stones. Some of the larger sarsens weigh up to 40 tons, and the lintels can reach lengths of over 10 feet. The builders understood that a system to lock the stones together was necessary for the monument to stand the test of time and serve as their legacy. Tale of the Sphinx While the Great Sphinx of Giza is renowned for its enigmatic face and missing nose, lesser-known features of this colossal monument often escape our attention. One such feature is the Sphinx's tail. The tail of the Sphinx is relatively small, an almost inconspicuous feature compared to the monument's grandeur. Measuring approximately 6.5 feet long, the tail is carved from the same limestone bedrock as the rest of the Sphinx. It's believed that the tail was originally much longer, but erosion and damage over the millennia have reduced it to its current size. Some scholars suggest that the Sphinx was originally depicted as a complete lion, with the tail being a remnant of this representation. Others propose that the tail served a symbolic purpose, possibly representing the pharaoh's power and authority. Another intriguing aspect of the Sphinx is the misconception surrounding its missing nose. A widely believed myth attributes the damage to Napoleon Bonaparte's troops, who allegedly used the Sphinx for target practice during the French campaign in Egypt in the late 18th century. However, this tale is nothing more than a historical inaccuracy, shedding light on the true history of the ancient monument. Evidence suggests that the Sphinx's nose was already missing long before Napoleon arrived in Egypt. The Arab historian al makrizi writing in the 15th century, mentioned the Sphinx's missing nose, attributing the damage to a Sufi Muslim ruler named Muhammad Sa'im al-Dar, who was allegedly angered by peasants leaving offerings to the Sphinx and vandalized the monument in 1378. The Sphinx's missing beard is another feature that often goes unnoticed. The beard, likely added during the New Kingdom period between 1570 BCE and 1069 BCE, was carved from a separate block of limestone and attached to the Sphinx's chin. Fragments of the beard were discovered in the early 19th century and are now displayed in the British Museum and the Egyptian Museum in Cairo. Scholars debate the true purpose of the Sphinx's beard. While many believe it was an original feature intended to symbolize the pharaoh's divinity, others suggest it was added later to reflect the evolving representation of the pharaoh iconography. The Terracotta Acrobats Beyond the iconic soldiers of the Terracotta Army, a group of mysterious figures has emerged from the ancient necropolis of China's first emperor, Qin Shi Huang. These mysterious sculptures, known as the acrobats, have become the subject of intense study and speculation on the complexities of ancient Chinese art and culture. The Terracotta Army, a vast collection of sculptures depicting the army of Qin Shi Huang, was buried with the emperor in 209 BC to protect him in the afterlife. Only when a group of local farmers stumbled upon the site did the world become aware of this extraordinary find in 1974. What they uncovered was not merely a collection of soldier statues, as is commonly believed, but a horde of individuals, each bearing the uniqueness of a living army. The features were decorated with a vibrant palette of colors, painstakingly painted by hand, bringing to life the 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, 670 horses, and a number of non-soldier figures, including the acrobats. Discovered in a single pit in 1999, the 11 acrobats are especially remarkable for their anatomical accuracy and incredible attention to detail, particularly in the representation of the human form. 
These strongmen, climbers, dancers, and craftsmen are now considered distinct from the terracotta army, and their complexity and detail have led some historians to suggest that West Asian and even Greek sculptures may have influenced the Chinese artists. The poses of the acrobats vary, with some experts suggesting that they more accurately represent only dancers rather than a variety of acrobats. The individuals also differ in shape, size, and musculature. All are clad in loincloths, a stark contrast to the substantial armor worn by most of the terracotta army. While the purpose of the acrobats remains unconfirmed, it is thought that they may have been based on the emperor's court entertainers, created to amuse him in the afterlife, just as the army was intended to guard him. Parthenon Optical Illusions Perched atop the Acropolis of Athens, the Parthenon has long stood as a symbol of ancient Greece's glory and the precision of classical architecture. Yet, beneath its revered columns and celebrated friezes lies a hidden layer of sophistication, the strategic use of optical illusions in its construction. Completed in 438 BC, at the height of Athens' power, this ancient temple appears to embody geometric harmony with perfectly straight lines and right angles. However, as the architects Ectinus and Callicrates, along with the renowned sculptor Phidias, knew all too well, this initial perception is a carefully orchestrated illusion. They employed subtle distortions in the temple's design to counteract other optical illusions that might make the structure appear less than perfect. One of the most significant optical modifications is the technique known as entesis, a slight swelling of the columns that counteracts the visual illusion that would make perfectly straight columns appear concave. This bulging effect barely perceptible to the naked eye, ensures that each column appears robust and straight, regardless of the viewer's perspective. The columns of the Parthenon, tapering as they rise, also lean inward slightly, preventing any appearance of sagging outward, which typically occurs when viewing tall, linear structures from a distance. Another remarkable feature is the Parthenon's stylobate, the platform on which the columns stand. Far from being perfectly flat, the stylobate curves upward subtly, preventing a sagging appearance when viewed from afar and ensuring the building looks perfectly horizontal. The use of optical illusions also extends to the Parthenon's finer artistic elements. The metopes and friezes, which depict various mythological scenes, including the famous Panathenaic progression, are designed to be viewed from below. As a result, the figures are not carved in true proportion. Instead, they are exaggerated, so they appear flawlessly proportioned to viewers from the ground. Machu Picchu's Earthquake Resistance Machu Picchu was struck by at least two major earthquakes between 1438 and 1491, leading to a significant and surprising shift in construction techniques that can still be seen in the ancient city today, according to new research from a team led by the Geological Survey of Spain and Oxford Earth Sciences. The team identified over 140 instances of earthquake damage, ranging from large stone blocks that had shifted to unusual chips found in stone corners. They then found that such tremors prompted a pivotal change in Incan building techniques, from the labor-intensive crafting of large interlocking stones to a simpler method of stacking cells of smaller rocks. Beyond its allure as a mystical ruin, Machu Picchu also contains other sophisticated architectural innovations that reflect a deep understanding of its earthquake-prone environment. One of Machu Picchu's most significant earthquake-resistant features is the use of ashlar masonry. This technique involves cutting stones with such precision that they fit together tightly without the need for mortar. Notably, these stones often feature a slight inward incline, or batter, which stabilize the walls against the forces exerted by seismic activities. The tightly interlocking stones can move slightly during an earthquake, and then return to their original positions. Another ingenious feature is the trapezoidal shape that dominates the architecture of doorways, windows, and niches. This geometric form, wider at the base and tapering toward the top, provides an inherent stability that distributes seismic forces more effectively. Furthermore, the Incas employed a sophisticated foundation drainage system that contributed to the site's durability. Machu Picchu is built on a ridge between two fault lines, an area that experiences both heavy rainfall and potential seismic activity. The Incas constructed a network of underground channels and layered terraces with a subterranean drainage system that helped prevent water buildup and reduce hydrostatic pressure on the structures. This system not only safeguards the integrity of the foundation, but also ensures that the ground remains stable and less prone to landslides or shifts that could be triggered by earthquakes. Are you ready to unlock the secrets of the past? 
Subscribe now to Dark Five's Ancient Mysteries channel and embark on a journey to uncover the most enigmatic and awe-inspiring mysteries of ancient times. Leave a comment if there are any ancient mysteries you want us to explore in upcoming videos.